leading coefficient of one. All right, the actual rational root theorem does P over Q. If you remember P's over Q's, all right, this was your P value, this is your Q value. All right, well, if this is always a one, when I do P over one, if I do four over one, then I'm just dealing with the number four, okay? So my possible, I'm gonna try to go pretty detailed on this, this example of which I would not expect you to write all this out. I expect you to do a lot of this in your head. Okay, so your possible factors from your P over Q, all right? Well, four divided by one is just plain four, all right? And then I've got a negative four here. So basically my possible factors are plus or minus one, plus or minus two, plus or minus four, all right? So I really am, I can totally ignore that one out there, right? Just factors of that number right there. Okay, now I'm trying to find something that goes into this, okay? I don't want to do long division of polynomials because that's absolutely horrible, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use synthetic division. I know you did synthetic division in algebra two, all right? Synthetic division, because it goes really, really quick, all right? And then I'm gonna, I've got a total of what? Two, four, six, I've got six choices. So if you are a bad guesser, you might have to do synthetic division six times, okay? But I'm hoping you're not a bad guesser and maybe after two times, that you can get this to work, all right? And then I'm gonna show you what it feels like to be frustrated and have to do it more than once. Okay, so let's go synthetic division. Because that's what I'm gonna do to make this shorter here. Okay, so let's try a four, all right? So I'm gonna randomly pick one of those numbers. I'm gonna try a four. All right, now I'm picking four from here. I'm going to take all my coefficients and write them down. So I got a one, then I got a five, then I got an eight, then I got a negative four. Synthetic division hopefully is going to start to come back to you. This one comes straight down. One times four is four. Don't let me screw up the arithmetic. Four plus five is going to be nine. Nine and four is 36. When I add going down, what's that going to be like? 44? Holy crap. And then 44 times 44, I have no freaking clue what that is off the top of my head. And uh, it's too early in the morning for me to try to do it. I get like a 176 and then 176 and that negative four is going to give me a 172. All right. Guess what? It didn't work. Okay. I did not get a zero here. Okay. For it, my synthetic division, I know when I pick the right number, when I get a zero right here, well, that's not zero. So picking four was the wrong guess. Okay. That's okay. I'm not going to get frustrated. All right. I'm just going to come up here and I'm going to try it again. Okay, so this time let's pick a negative two. All right, so I pick negative two for my list. Then I'm going to do a one and my five and my eight and my negative four. Those are my coefficients for my original problem. And I'm going to try again. All right, I'm trying to get a remainder of zero is what I'm trying to do on this. So I'm going to drop my one, one times negative two, three, two times the negative two times three is six. That's going to be, what am I doing wrong? I'm doing something wrong here. That'd be a negative six. Ha, ah, there we go. And then I'm going to get a two. And then two times negative two is going to be, um, I did something wrong again. What am I doing wrong? I'm doing something wrong. So I'm going to check my math. Negative two, three, negative six, two, negative four. Okay. That's negative eight. All right. The reason this isn't working is because I copied my freaking problem down wrong to begin with. All right, I knew I was doing something wrong. Okay, let's go back and fix. All right, this really needs to be a plus sign right here. All right, so if this is a plus, all right, then that's like 180, but it still didn't work, so throw it out. All right, that would make this a plus. That would make this a zero. Helps when I copy the problem down right, guys. I apologize for that. Okay, so when I copied the problem down right and that became a positive four, all right, I still have factors of plus or minus one, plus or minus two, plus or minus four. All right, now I got a zero here. All right, what that tells me is that X plus two is a binomial factor that goes into this. All right, because negative two is a root, okay? So when I do this synthetic division, I am looking for one of these that gives me a zero remainder, okay? Now, from there, I can conclude 
some things. All right, I'm going to start over here and rewrite this. Okay, so x to the third plus 5x squared plus 8x plus my 4. Okay, that's my original polynomial, right? Now, I'm going to come over here and look at my synthetic division. All right, this right here tells me this is a minus 2, so that tells me I have an x plus 2 as a factor, okay? Because I did it, I divided it in, I did my long division, but I did shortcut with synthetic division, I got a remainder of 0, so it, it is a factor, all right? And then from here, I can come up with, if you remember how synthetic division works, you start here, this is your plain number, and then this is your x term, and then this is your x squared term. You go right to left, you actually go backwards here. So from there, I get an x squared, one coefficient, plus a 3x plus a 2. So this 1, 3, and 2 gives me my 1x squared plus 3x plus 2. It gives me a trinomial. All right, so I didn't have to do long division. I did this. And from that synthetic division, I get this. All right, now, what is this? This is the a factored line for this. So x plus 2 and then x squared plus 3x plus 2. All right, so this four-term uh, polynomial factors to this, and I was able to get to this by doing synthetic division. Okay, now what is this? This is a trinomial, and I should maybe be able to factor this. This is going to give me a 2 and a 1, which is going to give me a 3 in the middle. So now I'm just going to keep factoring like normal. So this x plus 2 is going to stay. I'm going to guess and check this one into an x and an x. I've got all plus signs. The only thing that multiplies together is 2 is 2 times 1. I'm going to put a plus in there, and I'm going to put a plus in there. Okay, now that is completely factored there, but notice these two terms do match. If I'm really fancy and really good, I could write it as an x plus 2 to the second power times an x plus 1. All right, so I have now been able to factor this polynomial that had four terms in it, but I didn't do it by factor by grouping because that didn't work, and I didn't do it by forcing the difference of two squares because that didn't work. So I had to rely on the rational root theorem to be able to get to there.